Okay, well, welcome to the Infected. Uh, we're in the beta branch. I had played this game quite a bit when it first came out, uh, but then I kind of shelved it as I was working other games and stuff for the channel. But they've done a lot of updates, changed a lot of stuff. As you see with the map, it's changed quite a bit. Uh, really not sure what a lot of this stuff is, like those X's. I'm not sure what those stand for. Um, but I know the fish means there's fish in that lake, so I think that's probably where we'll head to get our camp set up because I want to have the fish as a source of food. Um, the big crocodile probably means there's crocodiles there, which I'm going to need for some of the stuff that I'm going to be getting. Unfortunately, uh, I recorded the whole episode thinking, hey, uh, I'm recording the whole episode with my voice, but... Yeah, I went to rewatch, and then I looked down and saw that my mic was off. But we will do a little voiceover here so we can kind of talk about what we're doing. Right now, I'm gathering up some rocks and sticks and stuff because we're going to need them for uh, making tools. There's so much new in the game, so I'm, like, relearning everything. Okay, let's see. If we go in here and we click on the anvil, that's how we can craft. Now, if we put a stick on here... Well, no, let's do a rock first. Uh, one rock that'll make a blade. I'm not really sure what the blade will be for yet. Uh, definitely not anything with that. I was thinking maybe a spear, but no. Uh, let's see if we put another rock. Well, there's actually two sticks here. So let's split that so we can. We only need one probably for crafting. Uh, it, nope, still not anything valid. I was thinking maybe it was because I had two sticks and it wasn't working. How about, yeah, just a rock and one stick. Okay, there we go. We got our stone axe. We'll need that for chopping down trees. There's our axe. Now, is that classified as slot one? Okay, we got our MRIs, which is the beef stew, and our canteens, which are for water, which they call flasks. Get our X. And it is by clicking one, it'll bring up the X. Let's chop down ourselves a tree here. Okay, let's see if we harvest. Okay, it breaks it down into smaller. We get sticks and we get firewood. firewood right now. Okay, that gets us more sticks. We can carry more sticks, and I think we can carry three logs. We can organize this stuff too. Uh, it kind of stinks. It looks like firewood can not be stacked. I think if we make a fire, if we need firewood for that. No. Okay. I was thinking maybe that the firewood and the bark would make a fire, but I guess not. Yeah, okay. We're going to head down the road here. We want to try to get over to that pond where the fish are at. Oh, what do we got here? Ah, oh, wait a minute. There's something over here, too. Corn. Good. Okay, let's uh, gotta harvest it, and that'll give us the corn. And we got a pumpkin. Oh, okay, well if you just hit E, it's going to pick the whole pumpkin. Harvest it, and it cuts it in half. Plus they get the seeds from it too, which you will need for when we start uh, doing farms. It's not like farms farms, like real big farms, it's more of a planter boxes. 
At least that's what it was when I played it last. Oh, potatoes. Then I'll get us potatoes, so that should be good for starches and stuff. If you look down in the right hand corner there, you've got your, the red bar is for your health, the purple is for your stamina, and the green is for your thirst. And then for the food wise, you have different varieties, like you got, I think your proteins, your vitamins, uh, so it's your fruit, vegetables, meats, um, things like that. game will kind of replace oh what do we got here watermelon that'll be good for fluids and stuff for water I'm kind of hoping this will replace the miss survival until they kind of get farther along with with miss survival because it's just it's kind of monotonous now uh, I could only fit one slice we don't want to leave it behind though. Let's eat one piece of this. That way we can pick the other piece up. Don't want to waste any food. I gotta get a pickaxe made too. I did not get around to making it this episode. Oh, there we got a bird. That's a seagull. And we harvest it, and we're going to get feathers. And this stick, it looks like it's floating underground. For some reason, we're seeing it. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is, this is the ponds that I was thinking about. Plus it auto records a lot of games. This game is not, but it does have a video screen capture. It's like such a time saver because it a lot of the, like uh, the Star Wars Jedi Fallen um, 
order it automatically records or your uh, Middle Earth the Shadow War I think is what it's called I should know it I've been playing it a lot lately <laughs> but those games it just automatically records plus they did get it set up now for for Farming Simulator 22 also that auto records and then all you gotta do is transfer it over to your DaVinci Resolve and do your editing and stuff that way. And it also records voice and everything too, so you're not trying to play around with different, um, you know, like audio settings and stuff like an OBS. I'm not being sponsored by that, but it's just it's so nice. I just want to you know share my opinion about that. <laughs> If I didn't have my mic off, I wouldn't have to be replaying the whole video. So, I'll end up watching this video a couple times before the time is done. Yeah, you watch it while you record it, and then you watch it while you're editing it. And then I'll probably end up watching it after I release it, just to make sure everything is set up right. So, definitely part of the time-consuming stuff of it. Now, if we're looking at these two little books at the top, it kind of gives us a uh, idea of the different objects that are in the game, you know, like your different foods. You got your fish here. Um, there's cantaloupe and there's canned foods. I think we can make canned foods with the uh, once we get some metals and stuff. It looks like there's mushrooms too. Okay, we got these logs. I want to set up some foundations and stuff, but I'm going to need to have some kind of storage to put some of the stuff in, because I need planks, and I can't hold the planks if I've got too much stuff on me, so I need to set up storage. Plus, I need saw, um, like saw benches and stuff to make the planks. Let's take a look. What do we got here? We got foundations. Let's place one here, kind of like with the road right in front of it. And we'll set up uh, gates and things like that. We're going to need um, there's different defensive objects that were not in the game when I played it last. Let's see. Okay, good. It does lock. Place. We're just going to put down three of them from right now. And then hit tab to get out of the construction menu. Yeah, see, my backpack's completely full. I'm going to pick up these logs and hit E to add the product to it. it takes quite a bit. It also takes six uh, planks, so I definitely need to get a way to make planks. Yeah, it's six of them. Four logs and six planks. Which kind of makes some sense, because there's the four pillars, and then the planks would be for the floor. So it kind of gives it more accurate uh, requirements. I'm glad they don't need, like, nails especially this early on in the game you would you would have to have a way to make nails early on but this way you don't have to worry about it okay we got our bench here this will be for making our planks and I'm glad I made two because which you haven't seen yet <laughs> I get ahead of myself on the voiceover but I get two of them put down because you can only put one log on each and then it takes time to process the process the lumber. Holy cow, I just looked outside and there's like a huge flock of birds all over the yard eating on the sunflower seeds that are falling out of the out of the feeders. They're all over the snowmobiles and stuff out there. Okay, we're cutting down some more trees here. Get some more lumber.
because we just need logs to make these uh, saw benches. You can also get a uh, lumber cart, like a cart that you can place these logs on, because you're only because you're only carry, able to carry three. So it's a lot of running back and forth, which in between episodes I'll probably do a lot of wood cutting, so you don't have to kind of go through this whole process as we're getting stuff set up. Those nice big trees get a lot of logs off them. That's really nice. Okay, let's see. Those, those only take four, so this will be good. Get three of them, and that way we'll put one more into this other bench, and we'll be able to get a log on each. I thought I had enough. Oh, it needed more than I can. Okay, now we can go throw these on there too. We're in the midst of uh, the week. This weekend is the world's longest weenie roast at Lakewoods Resort. Uh, so there's going to be hundreds if not thousands of snowmobiles around so I'll be out recording that over the next couple days uh, so kind of keep your eye out for for that video I'll be out on my vintage snowmobiles but there's going to be a lot of uh, new snowmobiles around too so there'll be races and and stuff like that so I'll get as much on film as I possibly can but a lot of it takes like place after dark and things like that and with my vintage sleds I don't stay out that late. I gotta make sure I'm home well before dark. Just in case because they don't always stay running. I need to be able to see where I'm at so if I have to walk home there's a lot all those books too. We need those for finding out how to build some of this other stuff. Yeah, if you look when I kind of go over some of the, the items, there's a, a right line that's in red and that's the ones that need to have a book you know, so I can learn how to make that item which I would have, have to go to towns to get those items a lot of new stuff here like that garage and a greenhouse greenhouse is going to be great so you don't just have all your farm plots all over I'm wondering if there's like built in farm plots or if that's just where you're going to place the farm plots that oh yeah I didn't want to put it there I actually hit the wrong button ended up setting it there and I'm not sure exactly how to pick it back up but I guess it'll be okay we'll leave it there for right now this is pretty much temporary stuff because once I have a base up, I can, I'll be putting all the stuff inside. Plus I've got it built up against the, the water, hoping that the vampire zombies or whatever they are do not go through the water when they start coming. I do have it set up that I have, so I have 20 days without any of them attacking. At least I hope that's what that setting was. Okay, let's. We gotta get a couple other little stands set up here. Okay, yeah, there we go. See, now that's a place where we can put firewood. Not real sure if the cold affects us or not. There's so much new stuff in the game. Got that's our weapon rack and place for bricks. They didn't have bricks when I played last either, I don't think. I'll have that for our plane. 
planks once we start getting some more. Because once these racks run out of space, then you want to have somewhere to transport those over to. Which I keep trying to pick these up, and then I realize that, hey, I don't have any space in my backpack. You can't just pick them up like, uh, like the logs where you hold them in your hands. They go into your backpack, so you need to have space there then. Okay, let's cut this tree. We need to get a couple more logs and some more sticks too for that stand. Yeah, let's harvest this one, get some sticks and some more firewood. Seeing we do have a rack for firewood now, so it'll uh, have a place to store it, not in my backpack, which is good. Okay, let's get this stuff set up. There we go. I don't have any more. So I still need planks for that storage chest. I can't pick them up yet. Yeah, see it saying up at the top. Let's try to relocate some of the stuff. Like these stones, I don't really need them on me right now. And if we take... I keep forgetting that that's a plank storage, not a stick storage. So, let's get a storage for the stick set up. Okay, placeable storage. And a stick storage. Let's set that there. So we got a well good we did have enough sticks on us. Okay, let's relocate some of the stuff around in here. If we make space, which is it would be kinda cool if it would take and automatically place the stuff in the best spots, but I guess this is okay. The immersion is a little more <laughs> that way. This should open up enough space for those. There we go. Now we can pick them up. This means you're going to need quite a few. Ah, still need more. So we got to get another tree. Let's grab our axe out again. say that as I'm doing this voiceover right now I'm sitting pretty far away from my TV so and it's really small editing box that I'm not able to read those tiny words <laughs> uh, 
Ah, it's starting to get dark. I was kind of hoping that I had some kind of roof over my head by the first night, but <laughs> with needing to have uh, planks and stuff now, it's not really feasible. Ah, okay, here we go. Oh, it's starting to rain. Or we keep the bandages on us. With the, like the fibers and the stones and stuff like that. We're just going to put it here. Feathers and bark, I think. Yeah. That'll be for, like, fire starters and stuff like that. And we got all these seeds. That'll be good for once we need to. Uh, for our growing. There's a chicken somewhere. I did. I never did see the chicken. I've seen the raccoon. Which you can hear too. That chicken, I'm like. Tell you the truth, I didn't really hear it when I was recording this episode. Now that I'm doing the voiceover, that's all I can hear. <laughs> Is that chicken flying? Or, well, that chicken clucking. to get it to lock in but I'm thinking it's because it wasn't built yet why it's not letting me lock it in so what we'll have to do is get it built first figures that it's raining on the first night so it gets dark There we go. 
Now we got a staircase too. right here it's kind of good my my closing uh, statement or whatever it was kind of awkward um, so missing out on the record was okay so well thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it if you haven't already please remember to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button with the bell icon so you don't miss out any any future videos plus keep your eye out for that snowmobiling videos I'll be putting out over the next few days. Have a great rest of your day, and I will...